Have you ever wondered how long call pilots prepare for a landing in a place like Los Angeles after a 10 hour flight? Well, just a few days ago, I flew to LA on the 787. Flight time was just over 10 hours. And I wanted to walk you through how we prep for descent and landing. So first, we start with all the airfield information. That includes NOTAMs, which are basically notice to airmen about any temporary changes or hazards at the destination. After that, we get the latest ATIS, which gives us the current weather and runway in use. Then comes performance planning. On the 787, we use something called OPT, Onboard Performance Tool. We input details like runway condition, wind, temperature, and aircraft configuration, and even any technical issues such as MELs or CDLs. The app then gives us key data like landing distances and recommended auto brake setting. And in this case, I selected auto brake three for a flap 30 landing on runway two, four, right. As part of the setup, we individually verify each waypoint on the arrival, checking tracks and distances to make sure everything in the FMC matches what's on the chart. It's a simple step, but a critical one for maintaining lateral navigation accuracy and avoiding errors. Once performance is done, we move into the approach briefing. Since I was pilot flying, the captain gave me a basic rundown of what we were expecting. In this case, we were expecting the Ironman 2 arrival into ILS runway 24. All right. He also briefed the expected taxi routing after landing, which helps us build that mental model early. Then we discussed threats. One of the big ones here is terrain on the arrival. So we briefed how we'd manage that using our onboard terrain database, visual awareness, since it was daytime, and radar. Another big factor on long haul flights is fatigue especially after a 10 hour flight. We addressed that as a crew and made sure all three pilots were engaged, especially with unfamiliar US ATC instructions. We also reviewed go around procedures, minimums, which in this case was 322, and talk about fuel and holding options in case of delays. Finally, I always ask, is there anything I've missed or you'd like to add just to keep the loop open? Once the briefing's done, we complete the descent checklist and we're ready to go. That's a quick glimpse into how we plan and brief for arrival into a place like Los Angeles. Let me know if you want a video diving deeper into fuel planning and MEL CDL management.